गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम अवसर सर आई एम टीचिंग इकोनॉमिक्स इन सदगुरु गाड़गे महाराज कॉलेज करा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेट्यूट यू बिकॉज यू हैव टेकन डिसीजन यू वॉन्ट टू डेवलप यूर करियर इन कॉमर्स फैकल्टी एंड आई एम टीचिंग इकोनॉमिक्स नाउ अप टिल नाउ यू हैव सम नॉलेज अबाउट इकोनॉमिक्स यू हैव स्टडी सम थिंग्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड टेन बट फॉर इलेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन सेपरेट सब्जेक्ट इकोनॉमिक्स and i am teaching economics in sadguru gadge maharaj college kara so uh, this is our first lecture in this lecture i will give you some brief idea why to study economics or why it is important or whether economics is important for common student i am going to talk about the common student but economics is definitely help for all the students you must have some kind of knowledge of economics either you are from science faculty or from arts faculty if you if you are going to enter in business it is important that you should know about economics so in this lecture i am going to give you some brief idea why to study economics or what are the benefits which are related with economics okay this is our general general introduction first lecture so here i have written some points with the help of these points i am going to explain each and everything in detail now first point that is see now you have taken admission for 11 commerce here you are going to learn economics for 11 standard even you are going to learn economics for 12 standard but even after that when you are going to enter for fy commerce sy commerce ty commerce and again for m com part for same compound second you are going to learn economics so this subject will there for you at least minimum for 7 years from this 11 standard up to m com so this is one of the principal subjects of commerce department so you are going to learn these things in detail here you have some knowledge from i i had already mentioned that from from standard 5 to standard 6 you learn you have some kind of idea about what is economics you have learned some things some basic things in economics up till now but from last 10 to 15 years i am teaching economics to ca students ca students and regular classes there for ca ca students so what i observed commerce students they are going to learn economics but from last 5 to 10 years what i am observing that even the students from science faculty or even students from arts faculty they are taking admission for ca classes cs classes and they are interested to know something about economics or they want to develop their career they are purposefully they are choosing economics you know that for ca cs economics always plays very important role so last from 10 or 15 years i am observing this the students they are taking interest other from commerce department so it is very good sign and now you are taking admission for commerce department it is very compulsory for you to learn economics economics is a principal subject economics definitely give you more marks if you are going to think about the marks okay here first i will discuss some one definition what do you mean by what what is mean by economics economics it is a science social science and scarcity is the main subject scarcity is only because of scarcity there is importance of economics study of how society uses its limited resources now see each and every word of this definition is very important study of how society uses its limited resources i will give one example limited resources for example suppose the population of world is 700 crore 700 crore can you say that all people they have their own bungalows or all people 700 crore people they have their own cars they have their own airplanes can you see this condition no definitely not because some people they are very poor so if you divide the class that is one class that is very rich class second that is about the middle class and third that is about the lowest class or bpl below poverty line level so there is some kind of state there some kind of stages stage number 1 stage number 2 stage number 3 stage number 1 that is upper class that is very rich people all your cricketers all your film all your uh, players again industrialists businessmen they belong to one class that is for rich class second class that is we all people middle class people we belong to that class and third that is about the bpl below poverty line so there is some kind of difference between the income okay this and limited resources resources are limited how you are going to use the resources economics the science is going to say, which is going to say something about the limited resources how you are going to use the limited resources see again i will give an example that is example of petrol petrol or kerosene or diesel definitely petrol is going to 
it, it had some kind of limited resources. Petrol is a limited resource. After 10 or 20 years, you cannot find petrol. So, it is limited and it is very important for society to use that limited resource carefully. See, I will give you an example. Suppose one liter of petrol, what is the cost? Now, you know, you are uh, taking petrol from petrol pump. Now, you know, it is around 80 to 90 rupees per liter petrol. And what is the cost of one liter of water? Definitely, you can have water for 20 rupees. Actually, water is, water is also very important, but we people who are not going to give that much importance to water. But compared to money, definitely petrol is more expensive than water because it is limited, limited resources. You can find water everywhere, but you cannot find petrol everywhere. So definitely you can say that it is a limited resource. So it is limited, so we are going to use it very carefully. And how to use this limited resource is the main subject matter for economics. This mainly is interested for economists. Again, what is the use or what is the origin of economics? Why it is economics is there? There are four important problems, basic problems which are related with economics. That is, what to produce, how to produce, to whom to produce, and what methods should be adopted to produce any kind of condition. What to produce? Suppose, I will give an example. Suppose 100 rupees are there. You are having 100 rupees. So, what will you do by using that 100 rupees? If you are hungry or what is important, you will use that money to eat something or you are going to use that money for to watch a movie, 100 rupees, definitely not. You will use that money to eat something because that will definitely help you. If you are not going to eat, then definitely there is a problem for your body. So eating is very important than observing or watching movie. So you know that what is important, how, how to produce, what kind of methods should be adopted. How, how to put so for example suppose Indian Indian economy we know that population India is the second largest population it had it has got second largest population in the world so manpower is there how we are going to use this manpower machine use of machine or use of human beings that definitely help you to understand how you are going to produce second to whom for whom you are going to produce definitely for human beings to give maximum benefit for human beings because resources are limited and we are going to use that resource for the benefit for human beings. Definitely you are going to use that resource for human beings. And what methods, what kind of methods should be adopted for production? Either you are using machinery or other you are going to use human beings for the production. Okay. And now you know that, now function money. You know the importance of money. Money is the one chapter which is related with economics. But Everything is related with money. If you, do, if you don't have any kind of money, you cannot purchase something. So money always plays a very important role. Each and everything is related with money. If you want to purchase something, then you must have money in your pocket. So money also it is going to discuss in economics. Why? Now I will discuss about some importance, the importance of economics. Why it is important for you to understand or to read economics, to understand human behavior. If you are going to learn economics, what is or how, what you have some kind of benefits you will understand the human behavior. What kind of behavior, behavior is there for human being? Students, again, they can have student problem solving. Student can solve the problem. They should develop their mind to solve any kind of problem. Energetically, they have some kind of good communication. If they know something about the economics, they can definitely have some kind of good communication. If they know the importance of money, they can use the money for a proper business. So each and everything is related with this importance of economics. Again, there is some kind of difference in living standard. The person, for example, I will give an example. The person who is not having some, some kind of uh, education, definitely he will not get job. But person who is having higher education, he will get a uh, good job and he, he, will, he, ha he will have some kind of good salary. So living standard of a poor people and living standard of a businessman, definitely there is some kind of difference in that living standards. Okay. Again, business cost. For example, if you are going to run your business, there are so many costs. For example, total variable cost is there, average variable cost is there. So businessmen always interested for this cost. So if you know the knowledge of economics, you can definitely, definitely you can have some kind of good condition or you can use that knowledge for your business. Total variable, how to minimize total variable cost, average variable cost, minimum cost. Businessmen, they are always interested for minimum cost and maximum production. If cost, minimum cost is there, then definitely there is possibility of maximum profits. And always every businessman is interested for profit. 
no businessman is, is having some kind of he is he's, uh, having some kind of idea he is not interested for loss so businessmen always interested for profits and they always interested for maximum profits how they should get maximum profits so if you have some kind of knowledge of economics definitely you can use that knowledge for your business okay again this career for example if you have some kind of knowledge of economics definitely it will give some kind of job in banking or finance sector you can use that knowledge for banking purpose you can use that knowledge for finance sector even you can uh, use you can start your own company your, your own business that time economics will help you for financial sector again how economics is going to affect our daily life daily life you can for here i have done some point daily life again some choice choice is there what kind of job you are interested whether you are going to work for 24 hours it is not possible for human being to work for 24 hours but suppose you are always thinking of job what kind of whether you are going to give my whether you are going to spend a lot of time that choice is depends on you again what kind of work is there how you are going to work or what is if or how what, what kind of money is you are getting by doing your job again some kind of leisure we are we are not human being is not like a machine he cannot work for 24 hours so human beings they are interested for leisure they have some kind of good time for their family some for for their lay for their rest so you can use that one and again the consumption how much to say consumption hot how you are going to have some kind of consumption whether if money is available with you how you are going to save that money for your future you if is all these things are related with economics if you have some kind of knowledge you can use that knowledge for the benefit again last point is about the benefit understand world around you if you have some kind of knowledge of economics what is there or how economy is going or suppose some problems are there for example now we are okay, facing problem of covid 19 so you can understand that world economy is facing many problems even indian economy is going to face some kind of problems problem for unemployment there, there are days so some, some kind of fall for gdp even national income is going to reduce so if you have some kind of knowledge definitely you can see the world understand the world around you at the same time you can see the business what kind of business strategies are there whether your business is running very fast or is there some some kind of problem for your business again what kind of market is there what kind of government distance are there and whether this government decisions are going to affect you and with the help of economics you can take well decisions in your life so these are some benefits with the help of this benefits you can understand the economics or what is the importance of economics again what is important why we have to study economics in some points and i very briefly discuss all these things that is why to study economics there are four important points that is study of scarcity study of scarcity point number second that is about the study of people use scarcity study of study of people use resources and third point is about the study of decision making study of decision making study of decision making now let's turn all these points for example suppose what to become study of scarcity i already mentioned scarcity all things are very scarce so it is important for human being to use scarce resources carefully i have given an example of petrol petrol is very valuable resource where it is very scarce so it is important for human beings to use that scarce resource petrol very carefully the things which are very useful for human beings and things which are very scarce it is important for human beings to use that things very carefully again study how the people they are going to use resources with help of economics if you are going to study about economics you can understand how the people they are going to use resources okay and point number third that is about study of decision making you can take addition if you know about the market condition suppose for example demand supply i will explain one point that is demand and supply if you know if you have some kind of knowledge of demand and supply then definitely you can make 
knowledge if you make an use of that knowledge in your business for example suppose i will give an example suppose you want to start a factory of umbrella normally we are interested to use 20% people they are going to use umbrella in hot season and almost 80% people they are going to use umbrella in rainy season so you must know when there should be some kind of demand for umbrella definitely demand for umbrella in rainy season you must know about this that your demand for umbrella is going to increase in the month of in the month of june july august september that is in rainy season so demand will be there high for these months and that time there should be supply proper supply should be there suppose if the people if they are demanding and if you are not going to give them umbrellas then people will not buy if you are going to invest your money or if you are going to purchase umbrellas in the month of december the people will not take umbrellas because there is in winter nobody is going to use umbrellas because they are going to use they are having some kind of good conditions in uh, environment so people they are enjoying sun in winter season so nobody will interest for umbrella in the month of winter so demand should be there and at the same time supply should be there so you can take some kind of decision by making if you have some kind of knowledge about the demand and supply so definitely economists will help you all these points so now you can understand that economics will definitely help you and it will give you practical knowledge in life day to day life and we, you can use economics in day to day life and definitely it will help you thank you very much in next lecture i will discuss about the total syllabus of your 11th standard thank you